welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of floor beam which span is 25 feet the span between two column is 25 feet if you are new on this channel so you may subscribe this channel with press bell icon to get notification for new update civil engineering videos let's get start guys the size of this floor beam is 12 by 18 inches with concrete cover without concrete cover the size is 9 by 15 inches on each side we have 1.5 inch concrete cover this is the column size is 15 by 15 inches and we have eight numbers of steel rods dia is 16 millimeter if you see guys this is floor beam steel reinforcement at the bottom we have four numbers of steel rods dia is 20 millimeter we have four numbers at the tension zone this is upper portion which is called compression zone we have three numbers of steel rods two bars dia is 16 millimeter and the other is 12 millimeter so we have three numbers at upper portion and four at the bottom portion 16 millimeter two numbers of steel rods two are side bars dia is 16 millimeter at the distance of l by 4 we have two side bars so total at the section aa we have seven numbers of steel rods four at the bottom three at the top at the section of bb we have nine numbers of steel rods that's why because two are side bars to resist negative bending moment at the distance of l by four l means the span between two columns divide by four you will get this length where we have negative bending moment they already provided two numbers of steel rods as you can see clearly if you see the spacing of stirrup is here six inches after l by four where we have negative bending moment so we have at this section up to eight inches that's why because here we have negative bending moment therefore therefore the spacing is closely compared to a a section of this floor beam which length is 25 feet both sides are same you can see the spacing of stirrups and the stirrup tire is 10 millimeter hooks are bent on 90 degree so this is one of the big mistake it should be provided on 135 degree and the hooks length should not be less than 3 inches this is cantilever beam length is 5 feet you can see they did the same design so this is the other second big mistake that's why because the cantilever beam steel reinforcement should be changed compared to simply supported beam that's why because in cantilever beam we don't have any support but in simply supported beam the design is changed here if you see clearly the hooks length is here less than 3 inches it should be provided on 135 degree with the length of minimum 3 inches it should be provided alternately guys you can see which is opposite of each other after the distance of 7 to 8 inches size of shuttering is 12 by 18 inches 18 inches with slab because this is including with slab the depth of this floor beam this is short beam span is 20 feet long span is 25 feet short span is 20 feet but if you see the design is same that's why because it depends on the structure load On the other side, you can see we have two feet cantilever beam, but they didn't provide any hooks at the end of the beam, or which is called development length. So this is the junction between beam and column. They should provide extra steel rods at the distance of L by four 
unfortunately they provided leaping at this place if you see this is also long span that is also long span which is 25 feet hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye